drilling hole with full circulation. During this process, drilling is performed while mud is being circulated to lift the cuttings to the surface. The drill string consists of a bit, drill collars, and drill pipe. The drill string rotates while circulating mud down the drill pipe. While drilling, the mud circulates by pumping up through the annulus. The mud then continues to the shakers where the earth cuttings are removed from the circulated mud. The mud is then circulated back to the mud tanks where the mud is mixed. The mud is then pumped through the mud pumps to the standpipe. The mud goes through the standpipe to the rotary hose where the mud is then pumped back down the drill pipe. Circulated down the drill string and up the hole, drilling mud serves many functions. For example, mud cleans the hole, cools and lubricates the bit and the drill string, lifts cuttings to the surface, carries information about the formations being drilled, stabilizes the well bore, controls formation pressure, and suspends cuttings when pumping stops. One function of mud is to clean the hole. A clean hole allows the bit to drill into uncut formation rock. Here's an example of what can happen when cuttings are not removed off bottom. Mud jets out of the bit and moves cuttings away from the bottom of the hole. The mud then carries the cuttings up the annulus and to the surface for disposal. Heat is encountered downhole. Deep formations can be very hot and friction from rotating drilling components generates a lot of heat. High temperatures increase drill string and bit wear. Drilling fluid helps to reduce the temperature in the drill string down hole while drilling. In addition, drilling fluid provides lubrication to the drill string and bit that also helps prevent wear. Mud stabilizes the hole, keeps it from caving in. As mud moves up the hole, it usually flows by permeable formations. Permeable formations are those that allow fluid to flow. When the mud is next to a permeable formation, pressure forces the liquid part of the mud, the filtrate, into tiny openings or pore spaces in the formation. This leaves behind a thin sheath of solid particles known as mud cake. These solids plaster the side of the hole, much like the plaster on the wall of a building. The wall cake helps keep the hole from caving in. The column of mud in the well creates pressure down hole, called hydrostatic pressure. The hydrostatic pressure of the mud column offsets formation pressure. Mud is the first line of defense in well control. As long as the hole is full of mud that is the right weight, the well cannot kick and perhaps blow out. A kick is the entry of formation fluids into the well bore. The kick forces drilling mud out of the hole. If crew members fail to control a kick, a blowout can occur. 
A blowout is the uncontrolled flow of drilling mud and formation fluids out of the hole. Mud is also used to obtain information about formations down hole. Mud loggers, by examining cuttings at the surface, can gather important information about the formation being drilled and the conditions down hole.